Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of September 8th through the 15th. And first of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who had very nice things to say about my mom, um, who is still in the hospital. Um, just thank you guys so much for those encouraging and uplifting messages. They really, really mean a lot. It's definitely been a very stressful time, uh, but I'm trying my best to still be present, still be here, and of course to give you guys some messages. So let's just jump right in and see what we have for you for the second week of September. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It feels like there's a opportunity or something that has been um, slowly kind of creeping up on you. You know, it feels like something along those lines, right? Something unexpected that you've been hoping to happen is going to happen. And I think that the reason why maybe it's feeling um, like it's moving slowly is because there's something here that requires you to walk away from something or get out of your comfort zone. I feel like sometimes we throw that phrase around a little bit too much, right? What is the comfort zone and do we even have to really walk away from it in order to be successful and achieve things? I feel like sometimes we can kind of change the concept, context, right? So I feel like right now, Scorpio, you're not necessarily walking away from your comfort zone. You're kind of allowing your comfort zone to include the uncomfortable things so you can still do the things that you have to do. So with the Eight of Cups, you're really just walking away from the negative mindsets, the um, self-limiting beliefs, right? You're walking away from all of those things that you know don't serve you and choosing to continue on your path, even when things are happening around you that may be challenging or maybe seem like an obstacle, right? Because I feel like this is you saying, I'm still going. This is not you quitting or walking away from anything. It's you saying, I'm still on that journey. I mean, just look at this card, you know, there's, um, it's kind of dark, right? So it's kind of like nighttime, the moon is out. Um, he's got those mountains ahead of him. You know, he's, maybe he's thinking, wow, they're so far away, but I've got to keep going. That's your energy. It's like, you're not allowing anything to stop you at this time. With the Libra card or justice, I should say, you could be dealing with the Libra um, and the Queen of Cups. I feel like maybe there's something about balance that is very essential at this time. Like you're trying to find the balance. So this week in particular could be where things start to settle down. Maybe there's been some sort of, you know, kind of uphill of situations going on. Now it feels like things are going to be a little bit more calm. And it's important because now you get to focus on something that you're very passionate about or something that's very important to you. Because I feel like what's been happening um, in the recent past is you've been, you know, kind of doing things that maybe have not been your first priority, but it's like you had to get them done, right? You had to check them, check them off the to-do list. Now it feels like, okay, this week I finally get to do what I need to do here with that Queen of Cups energy because things are stable. So that's a really good feeling. So if anything, what's creeping up on you is the opportunity to finally get things going in a direction that you want it to go. So let's go ahead and clarify that Eight of Cups. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords, which I love because this to me is your determination. You are definitely determined to make something happen. Some of you could be seeing a, um, maybe you're walking into a new job, maybe you're starting school, right? You're starting some sort of program or a project, right? There's something that you're working on and it feels like you're very determined to keep it going. For some of you, it feels like you could be emerging with a new idea for something that you want to complete because you feel like there's a lot of potential for it. Maybe it's a business, maybe it's, um, you know, something that you have very high hopes for, right? Maybe there's something here that is saying that this week is the week where you make that first step or take that first um, opportunity. Um, I don't know feels like you're walking through a door. It's like you finally chose to open it and now this week is like you're walking through it. Uh, and it feels like the weeks before, the months before, has been kind of building the anticipation of what that door would even look like. And now you're simply walking through it. So it's a really big change. It's a drastic transition. Uh, we have the Page of Swords, the Lovers, which is Gemini, and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, it feels like this week things are really starting to turn for you in a really positive way. The Page of Swords and the uh, Lover's card to me is kind of about finding the truth in your higher self or finding the truth in something that you're connecting to, like finding the meaning in it. I don't know, for some reason it feels like this could be about romantic relationships, but 
it's just not fully coming through to me in that way for some of you it can but to me this is definitely higher self it's like your connection with the universe with god you know whatever you believe in it feels like that is getting stronger because there's something very big or important that you're realizing about yourself so it's almost like self-discovery is prompting you to say i'm gonna do this or I'm going to go in this direction, right? There's something that you are motivating yourself to do simply because of this increased awareness or something that you found out or simply just discovered, right? This Wheel of Fortune also just confirms that everything is slowly changing for you and it feels like the pace right now just isn't important, right? Does it matter how slow it moves? Does it matter how fast it moves? It's a the matter of the fact is that it's moving. Um, and I think that universe doesn't want you to focus on speed at this time. It wants you to really focus on the fact that you're just getting things done. So for those of you that maybe feel like you're, you know, limited on time or you feel like, you know, you don't have enough time to do something. I feel like universe is wanting you to change that perspective because that right there is what limits you from continuing to do something that you want to do. Sometimes we put our own restraints, right? We put our own deadline for things that we want to achieve. And sometimes, you know, you got to ask yourself, why? Why do we do that? All right, let's, oh, yeah, I just received a message. Um, they were saying the timeline is constantly changing, and that's very true. So I feel like your spirit guides definitely want to root for you, but they don't want to make you feel, or they don't want you to make yourself feel like you're bound to a specific timeline or deadline. So I feel like this week um, could really be about you redefining something here almost to alleviate the pressure of it all for you all right let's clarify the queen of cups all right we have the moon again it feels like you're welcoming the unknown into your life as well this week could be about something being revealed though right because it feels like you're finding things out you're finding the truth about something you're connecting um to a higher power I feel like the moon could also be about the fact that there could be something that is revealed to you that makes something a lot easier to deal with or navigate through. Because right now, I feel like the waters are a little bit murky, like things are not as clear as they could be, but I feel like this week is where all of that gets revealed. Right behind the moon, we do have that death card, so it really feels like there's something personally making you feel confused or like you don't know what's, you know, what to expect. I feel like all of that's going to be cleared up this week. I also say that because we have the Two of Swords, the Star, and the Hanged Man. So that Hanged Man is the first kind of um, step in this process. It feels like there's two, you know, or three different things happening this week. It feels like you're going to start out feeling kind of like, I don't know, and then suddenly you're going to go from, I think I have an idea, and then with the Star, it's kind of like, bingo, I've found what I need to do to get started, or I have you know, hope for this, right? You go from feeling stuck to suddenly having choices and then deciding and feeling confident about what you want to do. So I feel like it's going to be a week where you make a lot of quick decisions because the downloads that you're receiving from the higher power are fast, right? They're fast, they're direct, and they're clear. So something that was unclear beforehand this week becomes absolutely transparent. And that's going to be so important for you as you continue on in this path. All right. Let's clarify the justice. All right, we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Divine Feminine Energy. Um, I feel like there is something that you're... Hmm. Feels like this could be about a relationship. Like maybe there's a relationship that is... Um, feels like there's a test at this time, maybe some sort of retrograde stuff going on right feels like there could be a um decrease in communication with somebody or there's some sort of tension um you're trying to figure that out but i feel like this week could be where you solve it right like right now you're just kind of like i don't know why is this happening or what's going on is it the retrograde it feels like this week of september um you kind of get to figure things out a little bit better so right now i feel like universe is saying don't sweat it just ride the wave eventually the waters will settle. We have the Five of Swords, Temperance, and the Knight of Cups. So that, you know, that factor of time seems to be very important, especially when it comes to relationships, maybe because there's something that has been um, changing the dynamic between you and a person, and you feel like you just don't like it, right? You don't like when things are different between you and somebody where normally there's harmony and peace and all that. I feel like this week things are going to get better because that Five of Swords is saying that somebody here is not giving up. They're quite literally fighting 
for this connection and knight of cups is about you know just wanting to really go towards something with your heart open and being willing to take risks being willing to take whatever um you need in order to make it happen right it's kind of like this very gentle willingness like it's not aggressive but it's not super lenient right the knight of cups is very well balanced in his approach to something that he cares about so with time i feel like you will realize that any tension or frustration that is present at this moment really has everything to do with what someone could just be going through personally so really a lot of kind of subliminals i think in this one scorpio i feel like um this is one of those where it's kind of like i scratch the surface i go a little bit deeper into certain things but for the most part i really love the energy because it's showing evolution it's showing transformation there's a lot of things happening that i think are going to really feel a lot more understandable right or not as um confusing towards the end of the month right it feels like you're going to be building on top of things as you move forward but hopefully this was helpful and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one